Hey guys, in this video, I will be showing you my super sketchy <coughs> carbon arc thingy that I made from my welder. So, I have uh, two carbon rods here. One is connected to the tip of my MIG welder and the other is connected to the ground. When I touch them together, they should create an arc. This one's a new one, this is an old rod. But yeah, let's get to it. <clears throat> Actually, before I do this, I'm gonna just explain one thing. So, the welder that I have, this button doesn't do anything except for put the wire out. It's always on. And that's important for this. <clears throat> because I don't want wire to be fed out. You can also take out the wire. But I don't want the wire to be fed out while I'm striking an arc. And also have safety equipment on. Yes. And I am also going to be maxing my welder at like 400 volts. Is that what it says? I think I tested it with the multimeter once, but... I haven't tested it on full max, so hope it doesn't destroy my phone. Ooh, that didn't sound good. smoking really bad. Aha, water. Ooh. Okay. Definitely should have used my, uh, used carbon rod because that smoked way too much. But I hope you could see that. Don't wanna touch that to anything because that'll just burn a hole, it's so hot. Okay, let's review the footage. Or I'm gonna do that. Okay, so in that clip, I like cut it out, so I don't know if I cut out any of my voice in there, but um, that was just basically the same thing. You could see the arc, and I think it looked the same as wearing this because it's just, um, I have this little glass piece that blocks light. See, there's the fluorescent bulb on my ceiling. To be honest, it's not really that dark, but it works, you know? <clears throat> and it's what came with my welder. I never used it, but yeah, so oh, I've also got these, but they're not dark for crap. See, you can... reflecting back what if I go this way okay but just trust me on it that they are a lot brighter than the... <sighs> they let in more light okay I'm gonna close my garage door to because I used it to vent there but yeah Oh, now I should be studying for my AP exams and my uh, other crap. I gotta be doing math tests and stuff. And then I have finals in each of my classes. So, but yeah, this is just a concept of something I can get that's super hot. I've tried melting 
aluminum, no problem. Do you see this? Hole right through it. So you can see that's definitely melted. A blowtorch wouldn't do that. <clears throat> um, where did that thing go? Ah, this is another piece. I know front camera, it's like awful. I'll switch. Uh, as you can see here, it is starting to rust because it's got red hot. But <clears throat> I used the arc reactor. Well, I guess I can call it that, the carbon arc to melt this nut, steel nut. Literally just melted it right to the metal. A lot of holes in it because it was bubbling and I didn't have any like flux. I don't know what you use on steel. <clears throat> and I certainly wasn't expecting it to go like that. This, is also, this was a nut, so there used to be a middle and it used to be hexagon shape. So you can kind of see by this top side. But yeah. Arc. <clears throat> so thanks to the two people who watched this video. I'll probably upload the little two second clip of the arc um, as a separate video as well as in this to get more views and more subscribers because I literally don't have any but yeah, if you're watching this, and if you make it here, thanks for watching.